everyone. Welcome to the show of Imperfect Parents. I'm Omar DeFrias. I'm the owner of Fratello Cigars, ex-NASA employee, big time world traveler, huge cigar aficionado. Welcome to Imperfect Parents. This cigar has a lot of dry fruit notes. It's got some creaminess to the cigar. It's got a lot of flavors. Uh, this is going to be uh, an experience that we'll continue to share, we'll continue to expose. This is Imperfect Parents. Imperfect Pairings, the Netherlands. Gouda cheese, bicycles, tall people, and canals, all equal to beautiful Holland. I've been in Holland at least a dozen times and I cannot get enough of this country. This trip was different though. I was enjoying the 70 degree weather, right by the canals, drinking their traditional Oude. And we will talk about Oude in a little bit. Now, as your plane makes an approach into Holland, you will be in awe of the gorgeous landscapes, the ridiculous number of wind turbines, and the beautiful flower plantations that span for miles. Heading out of the plane, I felt comfort. The tallest people on earth are from the Netherlands, so my six foot nine stature felt just like home. I will admit though, I am not a fan of the bicycles. Okay, I hate them. I hate them with passion. I almost got run over at least 20 times. Sure, I should have been paying attention, okay. But I give it to the riding ability of the Dutch. Every single one of them, after yelling at me to move over, they all had the courtesy of flipping me off while still riding it. Bravo. Guys, welcome to another episode of Imperfect Pairings, the Netherlands. Super excited to be here with my friend Sasha, fellow cigar lover, owner of one of the most beautiful cigar shops in all of the Netherlands called Cigaragua, and uh, amazing uh, uh, fellow wine lover as well. How are you and welcome to Imperfect Pairings. Very good, man. Very good to be here in, uh, in this wonderful oh, yeah, setting with man. you guys with these fantastic cigars. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to doing the pairing. What a beautiful, what a beautiful setting here. This is beautiful Rotterdam. It is incredible as a city. Uh, we've been all over uh, the Netherlands and in, uh, in, in, in trying to find out what it could be something that could be incredibly unique for what we're trying to do today. And in this case, we're going to be pairing. I am going to completely bastardize this, Sasha. I That's can guarantee fine. you this. No Ode in uh, Grandjuvenir. It's close, close, but you don't get a cigar. It's actually <laughs> oude, which means old. Okay. Graan Geneve, which means uh, Geneva, which is like a gin, but more Dutch, made out of grain. Wow. Okay. So, incredibly excited to try this out. I can't wait to uh, to dig in. Um, guys, we're going to be pairing this uh, this uh, incredible drink with it. This is for you, Thank sir. You. With the Fratello Naveta Inverso Boxer. Um, this is a uh, this is a cigar um, that we just released very recently, and it's one of the blends that I'd be pretty happy about because of as a Nicaraguan Habano a Jalapa wrapper, and then we put uh, four year old aged tobacco filler in this cigar. It's very full flavors on the medium body plus side, but the balance of this cigar I think will go incredibly well. We discussed that a little bit earlier. Um, and as you, as you obviously know, we go through a little bit of a process to figure out first what what are we tasting what are what is there what is the nose on uh, this particular drink and uh and what is the palate telling us about this drink in particular so we're going to try this out first and see if we're going to be able to find a pairing with this cigar that works very nicely i must say this is uh this is a good combination guys mm -hmm. it's uh there's a little acidity there's some herbs um, there's some sweetness to it, and that actually corresponds very nice with the uh, tobacco from Nicaragua. Don't you agree? You know, I'll tell you this. It actually there is a uh, there's a certain sweetness that I'm very rarely able to pick up in this cigar, and all of a sudden it's just 
bam, right there in my face, um, which I appreciate this. There's definitely a lot of grain here. Like there's a, there's a lot of green, there's a lot of grainish, um, um, but I'm feeling in my mouth. I am um, on the nose. Because it's a little cold, it's it's hard for me to pick anything on a nose, right? I mean, I'm not sure what your experience is. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Which, considering the amount of alcohol, is not a bad thing. Yeah, it's got a lot. What's the alcohol content on this? Uh, so we're talking about. Uh, it's actually not too bad. Thirty-five. No, it's not bad. It's but not bad. But definitely, definitely, definitely forward on the nose for sure. Oh my God, no! But I'm loving this. I'm enjoying this. I am picking up a lot of grain though. It's obviously because obviously so there's still a grain, of course. Um, now we're gonna try it out with both things. We're gonna try and put the uh, the, the 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 drink, the still drink, in our mouth, and then we're gonna try and put the, the tobacco inside and see if there's something that changes in the palate. So let's try that out. That made me salivate a lot. That works, doesn't it? That does work. I'll tell you this, after that, I sort of felt the alcohol come through way more. I'm not sure if it's because it left my mouth a little dry or not. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. It does have a kick to it now. Oh, for sure. Um, oh, I'll tell you this, I, I, I'm pretty uh, psyched that we were able to find this. Uh, this is, uh, how do you guys usually drink this? Is this usually like an after, like an aperitif, like a, a beef, you know? No, it's it's something that, uh, it's, it's a very old thing in Holland. Okay. Uh, used to be drank mostly by uh, older gentlemen in bars. Okay. Usually straight up, nothing else, no mixes. Uh, but there are companies like Rutte, which is a five, six year generation company which are doing it in new ways and it's getting a niche and young people are starting to appreciate it again so it's like people that went from whiskeys they're actually trying this as well yeah so it's becoming a thing with cigars that's quite new but yeah. i think it's an interesting mix um i thought it was interesting um i'm not sure this would be a go-to pairing for me uh the, the 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 flavors that i am able to pick up between in the combination is it's mostly it's, it makes me salivate a little bit. There's a, there's a certain sweetness that I'm not able usually to pick up on the cigar, which obviously helped tremendously. So the uh, so the drink obviously helped for that. But I it just I just didn't feel like it was adding any more flavors of the cigar or enhancing additional flavors in the cigar. And 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 the same thing goes for the oud. Oud. Out. But you, but you can call it old. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> old. We're gonna try to go with that. No, this is this was fantastic, and it's 1872. That's when the uh, family started. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. So it's a beautiful family history, uh, guys. Super uh, psyched to be here, obviously, in the Netherlands, doing this episode with my friend Sasha. Um, this is uh, this is one of the experiences that we were able to find something incredibly unique and try to get you guys. Uh, a very nice pairing for you guys to whenever you're traveling whenever you're out in the beautiful Netherlands stop by Cigaragua beautiful shop say hello to Sasha and his family and uh, I will see you guys on the next episode of Imperfect Pairings Thank you. don't forget to subscribe now subscribe click right there